Well, this first winter storm of the season has people stocking up just to make sure that they have what they need just in case we get snowed in. Yeah, that is good news for a lot of businesses. News H Josh Scheinbloom live in New Haven telling us how much some snow would really help some of these folks out, Josh, right? That's right, Darren, and it certainly feels like winter outside right now. Now, how much snow we're going to get is still yet to be seen, but many across our state aren't taking any chances. You'll be hard pressed to find snow on Connecticut's shoreline. It's a little easier to discover ice melt and other winter related supplies. We brought in snow blowers and we're just waiting on the storms to come in. Kevin D'Amato is a manager at North Haven Paint and Hardware. With snow in the forecast business, he estimates that their store has jumped 10% on this day alone. Sold um, a couple bags, uh, quite a few bags of salt, uh, a couple shovels. People getting ready, roof rakes. People, it seems, are getting ready for whatever Mother Nature may have in store. I'm going to have to grab a snow shovel, maybe even grab a sled. Would you know what to do if you lost power in a storm? Drink more wine. But what should you do in the event that you lose power? Well, the CDC recommends only operating grills and generators outside. That way, you can prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. And here's another idea. If the power is out for longer than two hours, make sure you head over to your refrigerator. If you have any food items that went above 40 degrees, you should throw them away. You can also put on extra layers to help keep in body heat. Whether some lose power or not, even among the hardest of New Englanders, snow can still be a nuisance. But behind this counter, there's only excitement. Yes, definitely welcoming it. I love the snow. We need it for business. The CDC recommends that you come up with your own emergency plan. On top of that, it's not a bad idea to have a first aid kit. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.